Hello, hello, Gregor Arturo here in lovely Asheville, North Carolina. So I have a, um, a new design to show you guys. It's actually not a new design, it's just it's been built. It's finally been built. Simplest of the Vortex Base Mathematics matrices, the 6x6. Um, the 6x6 matrix, which is in my other videos, um, rendered uh, this piece of geometry. Ta-da! And so, the 6x6 matrix, um, when wrapped, so if you take a piece of paper and you, you know, wrap it and connect it to itself to make a, a cylinder, and then you can connect that cylinder to itself to make a donut. Well, that donut is the outer boundary layer of this uh, hexagram, which is two circuits interwoven together. It's the Star of David. It's made out of steel or iron, and um, it's magnetized. Um, and so the magnetic field is completely enclosed within itself. There is no leakage, and so it makes it very hard to verify scientifically that this is doing what I'm saying it's doing. So, for example, if you have a, uh, a horseshoe magnet, you bring it to a monitor, and you you'll see the distortion in the screen. Um, but if you add a bar to the end of that magnet to connect it to itself to close the circuit, it, and then you bring it to a monitor, you'll see very little distortion, um, if any. Because the geometry is not perfect, there's leakage out through it. This, the geometry is pretty close to perfect. It's completely contained uh, within it. And so it's this thing is on. I don't even know how else to tell you, but it's on. And so, I have this one. It's magnetized. This one that's not magnetized has a little rougher weld. Um, uh, I had videos to show how I actually made these, um, twisting them and then wrapping them around themselves and welding them together. Um, and uh, what's interesting is, from my own experience, and I've probably had about ten different light workers, at least ten. Um, Asheville is quite a bit of light workers, energy workers, um, who have held both of these. And when you hold this one, this one's actually hard to hold. Um, this one is, is chaos. This is unmagnetized iron, and it absorbs energy rather strongly. Um, it's constantly fluctuating. Well, this, there's no fluctuation. It's the energy is constant. It's moving in the same direction around the uh, winding. And so, as people usually say, this feels like a crystal. This feels like steel. Um, and I've gotten complete consensus. Every single energy worker, people who can pick up a crystal and, be, and tell you how it feels, people who do Reiki, um, have uh, all said, um, and being able to identify this is the magnetized one, or that this one feels alive, while the other one feels just like metal. Um, and so, <sighs> success success. This relates to Ed's um, perpetual motion holder um, at Coral Castle that people are working on. This is the simplest possible type of magnet you can make. Closed circuit magnet. It doesn't get more beautiful than this. I'm making other coils. Um, uh, copper and aluminum. Um, do a decagram, which is the rotating coil and the octagram. I should be showing those. Um, uh, I've just had some delays in the shop. I'm probably going to post a video about all the craziness that has gone down in my life this weekend. Crazy. Um, anyone's interested in purchasing any of these, let me know. Um, uh, or any of the coils I'm going to be making. Um, I really need money to help me on the projects I'm working on. Funding is getting short. I have funding, but funding only goes so far. And at the moment, um, part of my shop is being dismantled. I need more tools and uh, I've secured quite a few tools but not enough. And so, um, yeah, you want to help me out? That would be great. And I have some things to offer if you're interested. Hmm, this feels great. I fall asleep with this under my pillow lately. Um, probably would also make a really cool necklace. Actually it would. It feels like it opens, it, yeah, it opens up your heart. It's interesting how steel can do this um, when you use the right geometry. It makes me think of uh, actually using steel for geodesic domes and uh, magnetizing the steel. 
So the triangles, the squares, the pentagons, the energy is flowing in specific ways. Um, and you control the energetic flow instead of letting it fluctuate with its environment. And yeah, so there's my, my two cents. And if anyone has any ideas on experiments or tests you want me to do with these, I have my systems or symbiotic systems I'm going to create of other star geometries together with these guys. It's only a piece to the puzzle. A core, if uh, I could say the least. And uh, yeah, you guys have a good one. Ciao.